Saudi Arabia, the country with the most massive oil reserves, has been up to something interesting lately. Now, they've been getting involved with this thing called BRICS. I'm sure you've heard of it. And I know you're probably wondering what it is, but let me give you a quick recap if you're not abreast of what's going on. BRICS is a group that includes countries like Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And it's all about cooperation right now and economic development among these nations. And guess what? Saudi Arabia is now joining this group. Now this is something that you won't find in the news today. So you see, I've been following the developments of this very close. And it's something that will affect not only the global economy, but also our own savings, investments, and overall quality of life. So... If you care about your livelihood and your freedom and your quality of life, tap that thumbs up button for me and I'd really appreciate it for the algorithm. So now let me give you the inside scoop of what's going on. Now the official BRICS bank, the new development bank, it's actually in the process of accepting Saudi Arabia and it's going to be its ninth member. This might not sound like a big deal at first, but trust me, it is. And it's going to have a significant impact on the alliance and more importantly, on the United States dollar. This is not good news because the U.S. is effectively losing its most important ally in the Middle East. And it's a significant disadvantage. It's pretty much a failure. And what's worse is that we're losing our most important ally in the region to China. The United States has always had a strong relationship with Saudi Arabia, especially in the Middle East. And they've been our partners since the 50s, and that partnership played a crucial role in the creation of this petrodollar system. And back in 1973, the United States and Saudi Arabia made a deal to price and trade oil exclusively in US dollars. This was a big deal because it meant that any country in the world that wanted to buy oil from the Saudi Arabia had to first purchase US dollars. Now, it was a brilliant move by the United States and it played a big role in the country's global position over the years. It was a deal that benefited us greatly. But now things are falling apart faster than you can imagine. So due to this inflation and our disregard for printing money, it's become a real mess. So according to the Financial Times, adding Saudi Arabia would strengthen the deal and the bonds between the banks and the world's second largest oil producer. So this bank was actually created by the biggest development economies as an alternative to those Western-led Bretton Wood institutions. Now there's quite a few countries that have already applied to join this group called BRICS, which includes Saudi Arabia and Iran. And these are even more countries that have expressed interest, although they haven't applied officially yet. There are 19 countries that are actively expressing their interest to join. So Bloomberg has been saying that a decision will be made later this year and I really think Saudi Arabia has a really good chance as becoming this new member if it's not already. And the Financial Times also reported that both China and Saudi Arabia are looking to strengthen their ties. It's a win-win situation for both parties involved. And you know what's also crazy? The fact that the status of the dollar as a global reserve currency might really affect it by this. And China is using its yuan to buy oil and liquefied natural gas from the Saudis right now. And their oil imports are expected to reach an all-time high this year. So let's really talk some numbers. China's oil demand has reached a record-breaking 16 million barrels a day in April. And what's interesting is that just a month before, they had broken through about 15 million barrels a day. And they're consistently increasing their demand for oil. But here's where it gets really fascinating. China's refineries have been smart about it. And they took advantages of healthy domestic refining margins by importing cheap Russian crude oil. Now this move has given them a significant boost. So let's also talk about this values of transactions. The United States, unfortunately, is missing out on quite a lot and losing out on tens of billions of dollars in oil transactions. Now reports from Reuters and a lot of insiders are revealing that in 2022 alone, China paid a whopping 88 billion 
to Russia in yuan denominated transaction for commodities. And it looks like this year in 2023, that number can be even higher. But it's not just Russia. Even Pakistan has decided to purchase oil from Saudi Arabia using the yuan instead of using the dollar. And a Pakistani minister expressed hope that this arrangement would become a long-term one with transaction happening in rupees and Chinese currency. Now, they believe that expanding this currency swap would open up more opportunities for them. Now, listen, it's here nor there. I'm going to make another video about why I think that our reserve currency is not in jeopardy just yet. And there's a lot of factors that contribute to it. But we'll get to that in another video. But right now, let's focus on this one. Now, according to the Financial Post, this deal not only helps China's ambition to promote the yuan globally, but also provides relief to Pakistan. And Pakistan heavily relies on energy imports and is working on reviving a $6.5 billion bailout package with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, located in Washington. Now, just think about it this way. Saudi Arabia has the largest crude oil exporter in the world, just made a massive deal with China, the biggest oil importer, and it's like the oil titans joining forces. And you know who else plays a major role in this oil game? It's pretty much Russia's government oil company, Rosneft and Brazil, which is part of the BRICS bloc. So here's the interesting part, and these countries have started trading using their own currencies instead of the US dollar, and it's a big deal because when Saudi Arabia, with its oil might, joins BRICS, the value of the dollar is bound to go down. Now, again, we'll talk about this later, but let me tell you about this BRICS bank. It was created by the leading developing countries, including the ones I just mentioned, and one of their goals is to lend about 20% of their reserves, which is a whopping 30 billion in their own currencies. And they use this money for infrastructure projects in developing nations. And in the past, the World Bank or the IMF would do this, but with certain conditions attached. Now, the new development banks allow these nations to repay in their own currencies, strengthening their economies in the long run. Now, if you like this video, check this one out also about China and another BRICS video if you haven't watched that one.